Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the memorial of St. Lucy. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King of all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let us worship Jesus Christ, the King, King of Martyrs. Come then let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people the flock he shepherds. Come, Come let us worship Christ, Christ the King, King of Martyrs. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let us worship Christ, the King, King of Martyrs. Forty years I endured their generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Lord, you have blessed your land. You have forgiven the sins of your people. O oh Lord, you once favored your land and revealed the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You awaited all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will not restore again your life, that your people may rejoice in you. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice, peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My soul has yearned for you in the night, and as morning breaks, I watch for your coming. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for his trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just we make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you, your name and your title. 
are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you lead your bounties to us, for it is you who have accomplished all who have been. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, let the light of your face shine upon us. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has healed its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr, St. Lucy, give us new heart, we pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age and so behold things eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to the city rebellious and polluted, to the tyrannical city. She hears no voice, accepts no correction. In the Lord she has not trusted, to her God she has not drawn near. For then I will change and purify the lips of the peoples, that they all may call upon the name of the Lord, to serve him with one accord, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, and as far as the resins of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me, for then will I remove for your midst the proud braggarts, and you shall no longer exalt yourselves on my holy mountain, but I will leave as the remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongues. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your face may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants, no one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please all stand.
Come, O oh Lord, do not delay. Forgive the sins of your people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. Someone said that even fools change their mind. Even fools change their mind. Kahit baliw daw ay nagbabago ng isip. Nung nabanggit ko yung salitang baliw, may naisip kayo, someone. Kilala ko yun, ha? Baka tayo din yun. Actually, sa katotohanan, lahat tayo ay may pagkakataon na magbago ng isip. Yan ang sinasabi ng ating Ibanghelyo sa araw na ito. Dahil sa pagbabago ng isip, kadalasan kasunod dyan, pagbabago ng pananaw, pagbabago ng puso, pagbabago ng pag-uugali, pagbabago ng pagkatao, pagbabago ng buhay. Kadalasan nagsisimula sa isip, pero ang totoo, hindi nagtatapos doon. Mahalaga mag-isip, pero mas mahalaga ang paggawa ng tama. Yan pinakita sa Ibanghelyo ng ating Panginoon. Napakaganda ang binibigyan ng pagkakataon ng Panginoon sa ating lahat. Sometimes we commit mistakes. Sometimes we give bad answers, bad decisions, bad actions. But we are given opportunity to change all of those. Ganun tayo kamahal ng Diyos. Pwede magbago. May mga tao na pag may nasagot ka na, may nagawa ka na, wala na. End na. Finish ka na. Sa Diyos, hindi. Kahit makasalanan ka pa, pwede ka pang magbago. At pansin niyo mga kapatid sa Ibanghelyo, parang ang bilis ng pagbabago. Naisip ng nagkamali. Nagbago ng isip. Sa totoong buhay, change takes time. Sa totoong buhay, we need a lot of patience to see change in people, in us. Kaya paalala sa atin ngayon, huwag magbadali masyado. Hayaan natin yung ibang magbago. Hayaan din natin yung sarili natin magbago. Ang mahalaga, dumatong tayo doon, humantong tayo doon na may pagbabago. May tanong natin sarili natin, ano ba yung mga bagay na nagawa ko? Mga kapalpakan ko? Ano may mga bagay na pwede ko pang baguhin? Kailangan kong baguhin. Pag-uugali, pananaw, the way I treat my parents, my friends, people around me, my superiors, my subjects, Remember this, God is waiting. A 
At habang may panahon pa, hindi pa huli ang lahat. May narinig na tayo, may alam na tayo. Huwag magmatigas. Palambutin ang puso at magbago. Yes, God is not in a hurry, but we never know what's next. Kaya sa araw na ito, kahit isang bagay lang na alam natin nagpapasama sa atin, baguhin natin. Kung araw-araw may makikita tayong pagbabago, kahit isa lang, kahit maliit lang, siguro at the end of the year, kaya pa nating tunay magkaroon ng pagbabago. Masabihan niyo yung katabi niyo ngayon, kapatid, sige, kapatid, magbago ka na, bago ka kunin ni Lord. Please stand. It is often that we do not clearly understand God's plan for us. Let us ask the Father that we may know His will and fulfill them. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and bishops of the Church may have the courage and strength to respond generously in guiding the faithful under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may base our lives on the mercy and compassion of Christ and not on pretentious attitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our own lives, we may be honest and sincere and respond to the will of God with unquestioning obedience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the brokenhearted may experience the love and compassion of Christ in those who take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers in ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Pinyafort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience everlasting joy in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, pour out your grace upon us. Help us to carry out the promises we made with a sincere heart. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Lucy 
win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith This bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Dominic, with St. Lucy, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Bago po tumanggap ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang inyong face mask at pakatanggap sa inyong kamay, isubo po kaagad ang hostya. Thank you.
Please stand. I am the Lord's poor servant. To him alone, the living God, I have offered all in sacrifice. I have nothing else to give. I offer him myself. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has risen for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am, I the, am Lord's the Lord's poor servant, servant. into him, him alone, alone the, living the living God. God. I, I have offered all in sacrifice. sacrifice. I, I have nothing, nothing else to give. I offer him myself. Let us pray. O oh God, who bestowed on Blessed Lucy a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom. Grant, we pray, through the power of these sacraments, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa Basilica. Uh, sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa, sa inyong pag-uwi, naway bitbit nyo ang mga biyaya ng Diyos Ama at ang mga panalangin na mahal na inang Maria. Patuloy natin ipagdasal ang bawat isa. Ingat po. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawang, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.